Howdy all gamers and welcome to TT Combat's Let's Play. What are we playing today, Sam? We're playing X-Wing. Yeah, this, this is, we've been looking forward to this one, haven't we? Yeah. I gave you a quick test of just a minute ago, which one? I think I should play better. But <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome game. I'm going to say now, the reason I sound a little bit croaky is because I'm not feeling very well. Yeah? Yeah, I've got a chest infection. He's actually turned to the dark side and he's trying to copy Lord Vader, that's what it is. Yeah. I, I wish I could do that impression right now. I sound more like the Emperor. <laughs> That's fine. Anyway, yeah, back to the game. Um, like, there's going to be loads of Star Wars fans out there. That, 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 just this, isn't it? I'm one of them. Yeah. Uh, I am. I watched the whole series like two weeks ago. Really? Yeah. I you used were... to watch the whole series twice a week when I was, I don't know, a younger. I said, saga, I, said, huh? I said series is saga though, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'm sure. 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 <laughs> <laughs> some people, maybe. Yeah. Um, this gonna let you, you're in for a treat because this game is amazing. It really, it plays really well on, on the table. Yeah. The rules are simple, but they're yeah, not super simple. They, they are, but it doesn't take away from the fact there's not. No, it it still has a lot of challenge. It, it gets yeah. you thinking, and it has a kind of bit of a poker face effect to it as well, it which does. I quite like. It does. It's really good. Yeah, um, good. Which again, you're gonna see in a second. Yeah. Um, let's talk about what we took. Do you wanna go first, Rebel Scum? Sure. Um, You're playing Rebels. I am playing Rebels. I took uh, Luke Skywalker in an X-Wing because Why you wouldn't? have to take Luke Skywalker. <laughs> the Force is with him. I'm um, not looking forward to Luke Skywalker, I'm really not. I am. I'm, we'll see. We'll see. But next up is the one I'm really not looking forward yeah, to. Yeah, next up is the B-Wing, um, which you don't see very many of in the, in the films. I think um, it has one or two appearances. A couple of appearances. But it's meant as a super heavy escort, which gives you an idea of it. Yeah, and it's got five shields, which uh, you guys will see in a bit, is, has a lot of survivability. It's quite slow, and it can't really defend very itself too well, but it doesn't need to with five shields. Um, oh yeah, I didn't yeah, notice it only had one, one, yeah. one defense dice. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Yeah. Uh, and then I took an A-Wing. Uh, sorry, the B-Wing is piloted by a Dagger Squadron pilot. Sounds sharp. He's Dagger. <laughs> He's Dagger sharp. <laughs> dagger sharp. <laughs> um, and then I took an A-Wing with uh, Arvel Crinid as wow. the pilot. Uh, yeah, he seems I I've heard of that guy. Yeah, he's... He's, that, he's really well known back at this He's your dad. <laughs> he's your dad? No. <laughs> That's what it was. Okay, so that, that's your lineup. There he is. Um, just so you know, guys, it kind of works out almost every time that the Imperial guys are, or the Empire are going to have more models. They, yeah. they, they cost less. Um, in the actual box set that you buy here, you get one X-Wing and you get two TIE Fighters. That gives you an idea of how much uh, the points work out. Because the TIE Fighters are a little bit worse. Um, they, the are, they are. They are. They can't take um, as much of a pounding, but they're really manoeuvrable, so the strategic mind will prefer um, the more manoeuvrable stuff, I think. I think sure. <laughs> yeah. Strategy depends on what you've got, I suppose. Yeah. But anyway, cool. <laughs> right, so I've got the two uh, TIE fighters <laughs> come out of this guy. Um, I've got Maul and Mithil. It's just, it's cool because it's close to Darth Maul. It's well. got a wicked name as well. Maul, Maul and Mithil. The alliteration. It's calling it Eminem from now on. He gets extra guns if you get a really close range, that's his ability. Um, I've got Dark Curse. Wow. <laughs> yeah. His mum doesn't like him. <laughs> <laughs> but the Empire does. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> we'll take you, Dark Curse. Okay. Uh, when attacking this guy, uh, opponents can't spend focus to, um, you know, to do damage to him. Like all this will become relevant when you get to see the game in a second. And then, got the creme de la creme, I consider to be creme de la creme anyway, is the Tie Interceptor. That, that you've seen on Asia, I think it be. It's it's pretty good. It's a little barrel roll ability, causing havoc. With three guns, like it's it's got more firepower than a normal Tie Fighter. It's yeah. got more guns than a normal Tie Fighter. Um, but it's just as fragile, unfortunately. Um, and just to have a bit of a beefcake, I've taken a TIE bomber. Mm. Um, but it doesn't have any bombs. It doesn't have any bombs? No. How no. inappropriately named. <laughs> like, you know, he can have bombs, I just didn't take any. Well, that's not Because I wanted a name like Maul and Mifflin, Dark Curse on my squad. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> I'd rather take points to have Dark Curse and Maul and Mifflin yeah. in my squad than to have some bombs in my bomber. But you did take an upgrade, didn't you? I did. He's got determination. Which means he's determined. And he has more furrowed eyebrows than most Thai pilots. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't take any upgrades. I was think tossing around the idea of um, taking R two D two, just so I can throw in some bleeps. He very nearly took R two D two, but I wasn't particularly happy with the concept of going against Luke Skywalker and R two D two. 
being oh. that R2D2 um, can regenerate shields. So this game, which hopefully won't take too long, could take a lot, a lot longer. With I actually played a game last night with a friend, and he took R2D2 as Luke Skywalker. And this game is meant to take about an hour, about give or take two and a half hours later. I've done one whole point damage to him because it just Ouch. kept regenerating. It was just annoying. It was really annoying. Anyway, we'll stop boring you now, and we'll actually play. Play the game. Let's play. <laughs> Let's play X-wing, shall we? Yeah. Let's go. Okay guys, uh, for X-Wing, uh, deployment is range band 1, I believe, which is this thing, and that's 1. That's your deployment area, and uh, opponents deploy their ships in the level of the skills of the pilots, uh, from the crappiest first. So, I'm going first. Yeah. <laughs> and it's Easy crap pilot. It's Scimitar Squadron Pilot, he doesn't have a cool name. So. Scimitar. He's just, just a squadron pilot. He's just a squadron pilot. Should we go and kill the bomber? He's going to go straight for Hoff. We're, we're saying that's Hoff, by the way. Yeah. Just because just we can. Okay, so my next one is six. Have you got anything between two and six? Four. So, okay, four goes next. Oh. I was hoping I'd get to the play after all of you guys. Your pilots just aren't that good. They're not, are they? Nope. Do I. Is it like to there or is it to there? Um, It's behind it. Behind the there. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so next up is six. That's right, me, me yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'm so also six, sorry, but you get initiative. So I've got go first. Empire always gets initiative unless I've always stated in the scenario. We're not playing a scenario, we're just playing Killbot. So, um, it's this one here. And I'm going to go to the far left. Wow. Which one's he? Is he more than a He is Dark Curse. Dark Curse. What's okay. your next one? Six. My next one is six. There you go. Oh, uh, uh, cheating already. We've had himself there, already. Already cheating. Okay, so next up are both my sevens, and you've got an eight, so. An eight, yeah. Right. This could be interesting. So, Turfanur, which is my tie interceptor, is going here. <laughs> What's he called? Turfanur. Oh, um, hello. T U R R. P H E double N I R. Turfaneur. T P. <laughs> That's my setup. That's pretty your deployment. Standard. Which one's your best one? Which one's my best, best one? These two are your best. Aren't well, I'm not going to make the mistake of what I did last week of putting my ships in front of each other. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Allowing me to shoot you down. Right, what abilities does he have? When depend defending, you may change one of your thingamajiggy results to a thingamajiggy. You get an extra, you basically get to change that one. Okay. That is deployment. Right. Now, right, you have your little tourney dials and they are they do have ship names on them. So we they? spend some time thinking about stuff, don't we? No, we don't spend time. We are right. going to be really quick for the audience. Oh, oh, too much thought. And I'm going to go for that one for him. So and the B wing's really slow, it can only go up to. Oh, it can go up to four, but it's high stress. Yeah, high stress, yeah. Yeah. I'm um, okay with not being particularly stressful. It's a good chance that my ships are going to get blown out of the sky, sky space straight away. I hope not. Yeah, I hope not too. <laughs> That'll be rubbish. Alright, um, I'm going to do that one. Okay, so you put them next to the ships, face down. <laughs> face down so you can't see face them. Face down so I can't see them. Can, like, did yeah, you see them? No, I didn't. <laughs> I've already them. Okay, so again, it starts from the worst pilot going first in that um, more experienced pilots will be able to react to what you know the opponent's doing in real in real life. <laughs> in very brackets. <laughs> in the real world. So this one here goes first, and it is four inches straight ahead. So you get your template didgeridoo. Go, Billy. And you go there. Because that wasn't a particularly stressful maneuver, I can make this guy do an action, and this one can't evade. Well, I'm going to give him a focus. Okay, so that's him done, and we'll put that one on top of him. Next one is six for me. You've got four, darling. You've got you? six. Oh no, I've got four. Yeah, I've got, got four. four so I was going to scooch forward two with him. So scooch forward two. Scooch. Just scooch two. Go, Curtis, go. 
Right. That's me. Okay. Next up is six, but I go first. And for me, it a slight bank to the right. <laughs> At three inches. Well, why not? What? I'd just like to point out that you forgot to do an action. That just occurred to me. It did, that's yeah. true. But no need, everything's out of range. Everything is out of range. Or is it? Or, or is it, yeah. Um, <laughs> takes these backsies, takes these backsies. No takes these backsies. Oh. And I'm going to give him a focus. Focus. Okay, next up is your six. Here he is. Come on, Mr. A. He's two. Wow, you really are going slow. I'm just going slowly for now. Just going slowly, taking it, taking it steady. Taking it steady. Waiting to react to your manoeuvres. And I'm going to do a boost, which means I can scooch in... One inch in one any inch. direction, or forward. Mm, going to scooch this way a little bit. Go. Okay, so next up is seven. I'm going to go with... Mauler Miffil. Let's get Mauler Miffil up there, shall we? Yeah. So he's five. He wants to get in there. He wow. Is. He just wants to be in the thick of it. Amongst it. Okay. So I'm going to give this guy an evade. Well, just in case. Not? I don't. Just in case. Yeah. yeah. Next up is... Uh, it's Tura Fenur. And he's going five straight forwards as well. He's an eager beaver. He is. And oh, well, that's too much there. And he is going to also boost. And it's going to be left. Okay, that's my ship's done. Okay, and uh, Luke's also going to scooch for two. And he's going to focus. He's going to focus. Even though I'm sure I don't need it. Thanks, man. Focus, Luke. Ten. Focus. Obi. Use the force. The dog. All right, should we measure, measure some ranges? Right, so now it's the combat phase, and yes. we may measure from the highest pilot first, which will be Luke Skywalker, no doubt. It'll be Luke. So I'm going for him. No. I'm shy. And then it's you. And then it's me. And I'm pretty sure the Ooh. A wing is in range. I like that. Not, so. Not so good about this. Um, it's range band. Three, three, which means that you get an additional evade, and I have two attacks. And Mortal Mythical special ability is doesn't matter because it's not range one. So, okay, when you are attacking, it's a case of I roll a dice equal to my attack value, which is two for the Tie Fighter. I got one critical. Sweet. I have nothing, but I need one more evade. Yes. Ah, oh, so it basically means that his evade cancels out my my critical or standard hit. Uh, nothing happens. Good. That was looking like it was going to be quite That's time for... Now. Well, if I'm in range of... This guy's attack. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy's not going to be able to hit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So, you get to attack me now. I do. I got two. Two dice, and I get... Three. Uh, I get an additional one for range power three, so I get four evade. Nothing. I'm all good. I don't need to roll because I've got an evade token here, and that cancels out his nothing. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, that being done, it's the following turn, so we lose any tokens that are actually on the ships now. And we go again. Mm-hmm. Okay, my friend. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a copyright issue right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank. Uh, what do we do, what do we do? Okay, so this one over here. Who's there? And last but definitely not least. All right. So it's me first, yeah? It is. It is, and it's this guy here. And he's doing a three inch bank to the left. And he is going to do a focus. Or use a focus. Mm -hmm. That's bomber done. Right, this guy. He's going to scoot forward an inch. 
gonna scooch forward. Scooch. He is also going to focus. Because he can't evade. So, oh, you remembered to do his fix. I'm not, it wasn't relevant last time anyway. Um, so, next up is six, right? Mm -hmm. Which is this guy. He's yep. gonna blast it forward. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. See? Blast. That is some great blasting right there. That is a good blast. And that one is. Uh, he cannot spin focus. I'm going to give him an OP just to make him super hot to hit. Okay. Who's next? My six. next up is your six. Okay, I'm gonna. He's on hard your six. Hard, ooh. Ooh. To the one. Ooh. Interesting. I'm gonna. Bit of face off going on here. There is a little bit. I'm going to. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna focus as well. Chuck me a focus. I'm gonna chuck you some focus. Chuck me a focus. See, there you go. Yeah. Next up is Mauler Miffil. And he's going to three inch scoop forwards. And I would if you didn't nick this stick there's off. The, me. There's the three inch sticky. Three inch didgeridoo. Mm, did you? Okay, right. And I'm gonna give this guy, he's gonna need it. Um, an evade. <laughs> yeah, he is. Um, last okay. up is my interceptor, which is a one inch hard bank to the right, which is probably my favourite manoeuvre for any of the TIE fighters because there's not much in your squad that can do that, apart from your aiming. And. I think. I think Luke can do it. No, Luke can't do it in the sky. Okay, not. No, he can bank slightly to the right. Back. Fascists. And I'm going to give this guy a barrel roll. So we know how much you love the barrel roll. I hate barrel rolls. I'm gonna barrel roll. Oh, damn it. This way. This is gonna hurt. Yeah. <laughs> a wing's going down. Nah, no, he's all right. Okay, uh, and Luke's gonna scoot forward an inch. Oh, playing the slow game over there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man. Cool wings. Okay, so uh, it goes from pilot skill uh, descending this time, so it starts from Luke. Oh, uh, Luke, before I move into that, I'm going to do a focus. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Well, no, <laughs> before the takes you back, so it's have to happen. Right. <laughs> uh, I'm going to shoot. Luke Skywalker is going to shoot at who? That. Yay. More than Phil. Yeah. And it's range band. Um, I'm going to guess a one. Two. two. Yeah, two. I like it. Which means I get. Three evade dice and you get your standard free attack. Yeah. I've got one evade already. Got two hits. I'm and a focus it. turns that into a critical or just a normal hit? It turns into a normal hit. So Ooh. I've got one evade, so I take two damage. Yep. Ouch. Yeah, really really ouch. Okay, so I've got to take two of these cards here. Now if they were criticals, um, I would have them face up and the ability on the card happens, but they're not, so I'm all good. Mm -hmm. I say all good, I'm not. I'm pretty screwed, actually. You're that in trouble. Um, well done, Luke. Okay, uh, next pilot it to go is going to be one of the sevens. I'm going to go Mauler Miffil while he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> he wants some revenge. And I'm going to shoot at the B Wing. The B Wing, yes, it is. I'm going to shoot the B Wing. Um, and it's going to be two attack dice at range fan two, and you've got one of eight, which I like. I really like yes. that. <laughs> just the one. It's a shame it wasn't a little bit further forward because that range fan one, I get an additional attack dice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get it. Nope. Um, I could turn it into a focus, couldn't I? Uh, and you're going to want to. So basically, what's happened here, guys, is that I've got a focus, which doesn't matter because I haven't got any focus on this guy, um, and I've got one attack hit. Am I, got, am I right in saying if I turn that into an evade, I lose this token? Yes, yeah, so you so can't, I can't do it to attack. Yeah. I think I actually prefer to leave it and take a shield. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so I'll you take the shield. shield. Yep. yep. So you keep the focus token there. Yep. Um, that's actually spent as well. I'm going to take shield tokens and put them next to you so everyone can see how many people I've got. Yeah, that's fine. Um, Right, so next up is the TIE Interceptor on the far left, and he is going to be shooting at range band 2. 
Uh, range of Anti, I have three attack dice. And you have three of eight. I do. You do. I got two crinkles. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, oh no. I'm gonna have to spend that to turn that into a. So you've got two critical hits, which don't. They, they, two critical hits sounds good, but he's Can got I shields. Take one of the criticals away, and no, you can't. You have to take the normal ones away. Ones, okay. But you don't need to worry anyway. Worry anyway, because the shields, the shields cancel out the criticals. Sweet. So, so nothing both happens. Your shields. Yeah. Okay. Next up is oh uh, his special ability. Time to set the as a special ability after attacking can do a barrel roll or f um, a boost action, which I'm going to do. Um, so. Don't think it's quite enough to get me out of your fire and arc, but I have got one more thing to shoot at you before. Yeah. So with all of my two. Right. Yeah. Now Dark Curse is going to attack. Dark Curse gets two attack on the dice on uh, range man two. You get your three. Mm -hmm. Two of eight. You're fine. I have got two focus and I have no focus spend on attack, so nothing happens there. Okay. Um, and it's your A wing's turn. Sweet. My A wing will take a crack at this guy. You're going to take a crack at the Turfener. Turfener. Yep. Um, I get an extra dice because you're at bandwidth one. Band range. Bandwidth. Bandwidth. <laughs> yeah, so you nice. get an extra attack dice which puts your two up to three. Yep. My. Oh no. My evade is free. And when. Oh, nothing else. That's all good. Right, so let's go. Uh, oh. One critical, one thingy. One so thingy. I take a critical hit. Take a critical hit. So I'm going to take a critical hit on my time. This is nasty. My time interceptor takes one damage. Okay. What does it say? Uh, the direct, basically, uh, the card reads um, ship. This card counts as two damage against your hull. So it basically. Turned on one damage one. into two, and I only have three on my towel. So uh, you've got towel, one left. Tie interceptor. That's nasty. That's real nasty. Um, I'm not happy with that. It's my best ship. <laughs> I think that's everything. These two have to go. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And it's me first, is it? Uh, B wing's on four. You, okay, so yeah, you go first. Uh, the B wing will have a shoot at this guy. More sure. missiles to the face. Um, I've got three dice. And band range one because we did that already. What is it? Range band. Band range, range band. <laughs> Rock band. Range. Great band. <laughs> Great band. Range one. Range one. Um, so you're getting addi additional dice. Yes, you. Am I? Yeah, you are. Yeah. Um, Looking turn strong. Turn focus into another hit. So you got three hits and three you've got hits. another one to roll. Do I? Yeah. Because so you're so range band hits. one. What's your. Yeah, that's right. So um, you've got four hits. It's impossible for me to. I think it's only range band two actually. I think we measured from before. Yeah, it's range round two, so oh. it's just three hits. Okay, cool. Yeah. I thought you said range round one, it's all that range no, talk. No. Okay, so... Ouch. And I'm pretty sure that means he's dead. Mauler Mithil, he's already got two damage. Yeah, he's dead. Down and out, people. Goodbye Ooh. to Mauler Mithil. Epic name doesn't serve him particularly well in this game. No. Oh, that's sad. Strong turn for the Rebels. It is. The right. Empire will strike back. Can, can the bomber... Oh, I got it in there. <laughs> yeah, <he does. laughs> okay, the bomber... Uh, Range two, maybe three? Two. It's going to shoot at Luke. Do you have to shoot the nearest thing to you? No, you shoot whatever you want. Sweet. And ships don't obstruct other ships in terms of you because oh, it's all 3D and 3D. Yeah. Okay, so. That sounded actually a little bit like uh, the sirens that happen in the yeah. uh, Death Star. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I kind of thought that as I made that noise. <laughs> so I'm shooting you with two, you get two of eight. Yeah. Two Come on, bomber! Don't let me down. Two hits. And no. You have nothing you can do about it. So no shields for Mr. Skywalker. No shields to Skywalker. Oh, I'm, I'm happy with that. I wasn't expecting it to be that good. Right, it's manoeuvre time, isn't it? It is. So we remove any tokens that are left. So these are all gone. Um, that one can go away because he's dead. More mythical. I could, I would force choke him. <laughs> what? 
If I could, I would force choke him. What does that even mean? Force choke. Right. <laughs> you like Star Wars and I don't know what a force choke is. Oh, I don't know. oh sorry, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> I wonder what the heck you're talking about then. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, what have I got left? Oh, I've just done the wrong one. That one's having that one. And then this one is going to go there. Well, X wings are slow. <laughs> X wings are slow, but it's a good slow. They have an ability that means they can move one inch forwards, which is really good. Okay, so first of all, I haven't thought about this enough. <laughs> we'll no. see how it goes. Okay, so that's on the B wing. B wing. That's Luke. Luke's. And then the A wing. That's the A wings. Okay, I'm just going to say, guys, I this is, I love this dynamic. I love the whole face down. Don't know what your ship's going to do. Ooh. Having to predict. It's bomber um, time. One inch forward to the bomber. One inch forward. Uh, can I have the one inch? You can card, have the please? one inch guard. Thank you. And in terms of abilities, I am going to... That can barrel roll as well. It can barrel roll, but do I want to and risk you flying out of my arc? I'm going to give him a focus. So he's got a focus. Next up is your number four. My number four. B-Wing. B-Wing's going to hard turn two. What do I do there? Now, when it comes into base contact with another ship, you go up as far as you can along the card, and then stop. Um, then stop. Obviously, there. Sweet. Okay, so, so next he up is. is going to. Don't you know? Trescuge. You can barrel roll. Yeah, I can. I might. You can barrel roll into a sandwich. Um. Probably actually going to do. A, no, I can't. Yeah, I'll do a focus. You can give a focus. Give a focus. There we go. Give focus. him a focus. Okay, so next up is my six. Uh, I don't actually know what I did with this guy. I went forwards two. Which is that one there. It's all a bit close and intense. Hello. Dark curse wanting to see. Hello. And he is going to... He is going to... I don't know. What's he going to do? He's going to evade. I need this guy to be super, super agile. And next up is your six. My six? Yep. Goes like that, <laughs> which I, I, think, I think I meant to do that the other way. But oh. um, yeah, I think I warned you about this earlier. You did. Put me in my token on this. Boost. Okay. And I'll do a boost. Yeah, you will. Check me out. Um, is that boost, the right one? No, boost oh, has to be uh, bank. Yeah, okay. Yeah, see this. Yeah, gotta keep an eye on him. There's the bank one. He's there. Okay. Okay, last for me is what's left of my Tau Interceptor. Tau in Tau <laughs> Interceptor. <laughs> that one's done, yeah. a different game. Yep. That one there is a hard bank to the right. This could be interesting. Could be. I'm going first, which is a little bit of a relief. What do I do with him? Oh, that's, that's usual. Okay, um, and I'm going to give this guy... <sighs> what do I give him? Because I could play it defensive or I just go all out attack. I'm going to go a little bit attacky. I'm going to focus on him. That's what we And Luke did a hard three. A hard three. Yeah, he did. This is all very close. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, very, very close indeed. And he will focus. Okay, I think that's everyone, right? Mm hmm. So, uh, the best pilot goes first. Luke! Yay. Samurai says he's got one left. He has got one whole point left. Ooh. I think I might take him off the board before he does any problems. And you're actually meant to put a critical point next to him. Okay, so. So three attacks, maybe four, because it's going to be within my smallest bandwidth, isn't it? Yes, it is. 
So I get four dice. I get three. Oh, that's what I wanted. Oh dear. <laughs> I'm all good. Oh, I three of eight. <laughs> Could have been much better than that, really. No. Okay. So nothing happens. Yes. Um, my last one would get focused, but I'm not going to use it because it doesn't do anything. No. Okay, okay. So next pilot is mine, right? Yep. And I'm going to shoot at Luke. Yep. Go figure. Because he's got no shields left. Yep. And I want him off the table. Um, so yeah, it's free for me. Uh, it was range band two, wasn't it? Yeah. No, it was range band one, wasn't it? Uh, range band one. And range band one. So I get four dice, yep. and you get two. Yep. Two. Yeah, you get two. <sighs> so I got one. I got one as well. Because I'll take that into an evade. I got so two. two. So you so take, take one. Point. You do take a whole point. Yeah. And as my special ability, I can do my boost after attacking, mm -hmm. which hopefully will get me out of the beerings, beerings way. Yeah, look at that. Strong. That is strong, I like that. That worked out well for me. The next pilot in terms of skill is my six, I think, mm -hmm. which is Dark Curse. Mm -hmm. And he is going to fire at Luke Skywalker. Oh no! Uh, it's two attacks, three attack dice because it's range around one. Yep. You get two of eight. Come on, Luke. Show me how it's done. No, how it's done. Oh, this is fresh damage. Oh, this is bad. He's gone. Two. Man. Yeah. Two damage. Luke goes down. Yes! The film is ruined. Yes. Oh, it's good. I like that result. Oh no. You killed Maul and Mithil, so. There is that. Yeah. Take that back. <laughs> um, next up is your. Yeah, whatever. My six. My A1. Your six. That's it, yeah. Sweet. Uh, the A1 will shoot the only thing that's in range, which is going to be him at two. Oh no, my bomber. Yeah, it's time to see if I can whittle away some of that guy's hell points. Range, range man two, so it's my two versus your two. You can two attack dice. Two. Yeah. You're right. I got one evade. I got one, one hit, so, so nothing happens. All good. Yeah. Just bounce off each other. Yeah. The last one to go, I think, is my bomber. Uh, nope. Yeah, yeah, it's him first. He's going to shoot him. Oh, right, yep, sorry. I keep thinking that B-Wing's got a really high pilot skill. No, he's only in four. Um, yeah, he's going to shoot him. Okay. So three attack dice. Uh, um, four I've... actually, because of close range. Yep, it is. And Dark Curse. And defend shit attack. You cannot spit focus. Yeah, that's good. Right, here we go. Oh no. So one, one hit, hit so far. And oh. the last one. You've got one hit. Just one. I don't need to roll because I've got an evade. Yeah. So, um, <sighs> that last but not least is the bomber. And he's going to shoot B-Wing in the bump. Oh no. Uh, it's going to be range band two or three. I'm not sure two, which I one. Think. Yeah, two. Two. So I get two attacks. Mm -hmm. I get one. <laughs> you get one. Yeah. Don't I get one hit. Takes your shield. Yes. This isn't looking good. I thought after uh, my first turn I was going to be alright. I thought you was, I thought you had it in the bag. It's, it's looking. Yeah, it's it's looking, looking even, Steven. I think it's yeah. points wise, it's working out right. Luke, you're my only hope. He was. Not anymore. Because okay. he flopped at trying to kill this one. He did flop, and he did get uh, at least two ships shooting at them all at once. Yeah. You yeah. can't dodge that. Okay, let's go <laughs> can't again. Can't dodge that. You can't dodge that. There's an X-Wing. Oh no, I've got an X-Wing. That's your X-Wing. Yeah. You just, he's dead. Right. Uh, okay, right. So that one there is really easy. Oh no, actually, I think I have a plan here. Look at that one. Okay, Dark Curse. And then the bomber. Okay. That focus is no longer. It is not. Okay, so it goes by the Boris pilot first. So that's me. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna be a slow bank to the left, just leisurely flying around space. Screwing over B wings. <laughs> Which one actually killed Luke? Was it the bomber or 
Thought curse, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. In the I'm gonna give dark curse. dark curse. I'm gonna give him focus since I can't believe I didn't give this guy any bombs or missiles. <laughs> if we didn't want to include that in the rules too much, did we? So I want to keep it fairly simple. Um, in terms of skill, my next one is six, which I think your B-wing goes first. He's four. So you, yeah, B-wing goes first. Oh right, yeah. What did he do? He did one of them. He did one of them. Oh, a two-inch flip. I was not expecting that. Yeah, he needs to get involved in the game. Even if it's stressful. Stress me up. Stress you up. Is that the one that doesn't actually get affected by stress? Oh, no, it's him. No, no, no. He, yeah, I, I got rid of that pilot. That's a different pilot. Just so you guys at home know, uh, when um, a ship does a red maneuver, which that accounts as when you do a 180 flip, you get a stress token, which means you can't perform any actions. You can still shoot, but you can't perform any actions. So, that's that. My next one is six, which goes before yours, doesn't it? So, mm -hmm. And he does a one-inch hard right. Now, to make sure that he is... No, actually, I'm just going to give him... I like him being very evasive, so I'm going to give him an evade. Yours next. Sweet. Which is a three inch turn. That puts you out of my sight. I wasn't expecting that. I don't know why I wasn't expecting it. It's pretty obvious. Um, oh, give me a focus. You got a focus. You got a focus. Yep. Okay, last but definitely not least is my interceptor, which does a three inch flip. Let's get back in the game. And he has a stress token on him as a result. Okay, so that's that. You shoot first. Down to shooting. The shooting is me first, I think, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it. And I'm going to shoot the B-Wing. Okay, okay. Which is range and range man three, I would say. Yeah, green, yeah, green dice me. So you get two green dice. Okay. I get three. Oh yeah, cool, so there's some rubbish at the yeah. Go! I got a critical. Oh my gosh. Right, two right, shields. Two right. shields down. That was good for me, I like that. My dice just don't evade. Come and on. Complaint, complaint, complaint. I'm going to do my boost as a special ability. I'm not used to rolling eight, eight dice. Right. Eight sided dice. Do you want me to do it? Um, actually, Ooh. I can barrel and I think that might be more beneficial here. Yeah. Can you barrel roll one inch that way? Yes, you can. There you go. I don't know if that does put me out, but it's worth a shot. Okay, so the next one is... Takes you out of the B-wings. My six, which is completely useless because your A-wing flew out of his sights. Good pilot. Yeah. Your six, then. My six was... Arval Crino. Crack. Yeah, let's go. Okay, so I get four of eight dice to your two. two. Yep. I just need to do one point. Just need to do one more. That's all you need. That's all I need. Ooh. I like that. So you got two hits. I got two hits. If you choose to. Yeah, you, you would. Yeah. I got two of eight. Oh. Without rolling my, my last one. This guy is slippy. He is. He is a bit of a slimy one. He is. Okay, so now it's my... No, your fourth, sorry. Your my fourth. fourth, so you can shoot at him. Yeah, you will. I get three of these and you get three shots. So one critical. So you, that's just evaded. Yep, that's all good. I need to roll. Okay, so last but not least bad. is the bomber, and it's going to be range band two, I would say, against your one of eight. Yep. And I got a critical and a halt. So you've taken one shield and a critical. And critical. Critical me up. Your critical is. It says this card counts as two damage. So yes. I've got. One left. One left. Mm -hmm. That B-Wing has taken a bit of a pounder. He has taken a lot of attention. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's an extra voice here, people. James has turned up, so useless information has arrived. Well, I'd uh, come and see how this game's going and see what it's about. Right. Next. Next turn? Next turn, yeah. That was a good turn for me, I think. Oh, man, it's going downhill. It's going bad. Where's my other widget counter? 
Your widget? Well, there. Oh, well, why do you keep chucking them at me? It, you nicked it from <laughs> Tokens need to be taken off the battlefield. My bad. Um, that goes there. Dark Curse needs to get back in the game. And what have I got left? Mr. Interceptor. There we go. Right. So who moves first? The bomber. The bomber goes first. Mm -hmm. Just so people know, um, the guys that have stress counters, i.e. the B-Wing and the Interceptor, they have to do what's called a green maneuver, which is indicated on the dial, in order to lose the stress counter and to do an action. They don't have to do that. If they don't want to do an action, they can they can leave it. Okay, so bomber first, and he's going to go clutch control it forwards. And he's going to use focus, actually. I'm going to focus him. All right. My me wing goes next. He's gonna carry oh, on with the stress. No. <laughs> it's gonna get the heck out of there. So he's just overshot me and made uh, my bomber useless. Even Which though it's a stress counter, it might give me a little bit more survivability. Yep, yeah, got another stress. Ah, oh, so you've got one whole point left, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, then it's these two. Um, okay, so let's get some of this stuff off. And there is a three inch flip. I needed to think ahead. I've just reacted to the way everything was, not where it was going to be. And that's my mistake here. Because there's nothing there now. There's nothing there now. And he, well, you'll see in a second. <laughs> okay. Well, he might be in range. Where's the one inch? <coughs> Pass me the one inch bank. So, my friends are kissing. Yep. Um, my, oh, you need to. I will probably focus. Focus, okay. Do you want to flip my one there, please? Yep. Your one is going two to the green, so. Two. Slow two. Bank two. Bank two. There you go. And now I'm going to barrel roll. Actually, that will put me back in it. This way? An inch? Yeah, that way an inch. So that puts me staring back. Back in the game. game. Yeah, that was what I planned to do the whole time, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it really wasn't. No, okay, so first. I'm going to be shooting first, and it's going to be four attack dice against your one evade. Against the Bewing? Yes, it is going to be the Bewing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be I'm, bad. I'm I need to do one damage. Okay. If I do one damage, you're dead. Yeah. You're dead. It's black. He was good. He was good. Barrel roll. I think I overestimated how good he was going to be in that yeah. I saw he had five shields and what, three hole points? Um, three hole points. Yeah, three hole points. And didn't take into account the fact that he is really slow. Mm -hmm. So he is going to be in the thick of it. He can. So can a whole damage. Right now, because of his ability, I can move. Mm -hmm. Which I'm going to do. I'm going to barrel roll again, actually. Where are you going to go? Yeah, that's what I'll do. It doesn't matter because you can shoot the bomber anyway. But well, just in case I'm going to try to shoot him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. And after that, it is my TIE fight, which is not going to be able to get you, I don't think. I think it might be. Mm. Yeah, you've got me. Okay. All right. range. I'm in bandwidth two. Bandwidth two. So it's two shots to your three of eight? Yeah. And I didn't give him anything. I'm, did I barrel roll? Maybe that's why. Got one of eight. And you've got one hit. I got one hit. Yep. So it's capped out. It's fine. Cool. And it's yours. And you're going to be attacking my bomber. Bomber, and it's range band one, so you're gonna get three dice instead yeah. of two. And I'm gonna have two of eight. I got one of eight. Two hits, so one. I take one damage. One whole point of your six. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's a bit pants, so I don't know if I'll take. Without bombs, I don't know that I'll take it again. 
He's just the standard TIE fighter, just a bit more damage. Mind you, points wise, he costs le he costs the same as Dark Curse, and he is more durable. <laughs> so, I don't know. What's next? It is done. No, it's the bomber. Maneuvers. But the bomber doesn't do anything. Can't do anything. Right. Lose the focus. How am I going to get this bomber out of this nasty situation? That's the only way I can see it. Oh my god, you have an A-wing left. Yeah, just the A-wing. It's not going well. I've, I wasn't, okay. <laughs> Didn't even realise actually. <laughs> It, it came down to um, where Luke missing this guy for his last point, and then yeah. that's, that being the big swing. Okay, so this guy goes first, and it's a five inch flip. Mm -hmm. I couldn't really see any way out of this. I was hoping that you were going to go really slow. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's really bad. <laughs> um, and your TIE fighter? My TIE fighter? All the rubbish parts going first. So this one's going two inch in the hope that you do go slow. I'm going to get killed this turn. <laughs> it's all about predicting your opponent. Pretty sure so everyone's going to... Oh, do you know what? I didn't it's actually give that guy any focus, so that's my first cock Go for it, go for it. No, it's fine. Okay. It's fine, my mistake. Um, and this one's going to get focus. Because hopefully you're going to be right in front of me. I probably am. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see what you did. It's going to be about three inches. Over. Oh, five inches? Okay. That's all right. I've still got two. Oh, you flipped as well. Yep. Ouch. Mm hmm. Okay, you've got two shields in them, yeah? Yep. Get in trouble. Where's his shield? Are you taking them off of him? Yeah, he has zero shields left. Oh, he doesn't have any no, shields? No, no, no shields. Oh, okay. Stop chucking these at me. Sorry. <laughs> You're the rebel. <laughs> okay, so mine's a one inch. Oh tower. no! <laughs> I'm gonna get shot by everybody. Yeah, now this, guys, is the perfect situation <laughs> to align your ships in. Um, everything is guns bearing on the A-wing. If I manage to get out of this, you I would have, suck. Yeah, if I, yeah, definitely, you're not wrong. Um, I think I would have tried to be a bit more unpredictable by like doing like a barrel mm -hmm. twizzly rod bob into the... Into the maybe family. going left would have yeah, let me in. Like down here somewhere. I mean, the best, the best I could have got for was maybe for two. Yeah. Two people to me and one. I don't know. It's, yeah. It's tricky. Um, I'm going to give this guy focus just in case. Yeah. It doesn't work out. Okay, so the first one is going to be my interceptor. Miss, 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 miss. You're in band range two. Range band, band, rock band. So it's two. free for me and free for you. Are you ready for this? Give and me. I have focus. It's going to be six of eight. You have one of eight. One of eight will do. That's all I need. I oh, have I'm dead. <laughs> everything I need to kill you. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> that's good. That's good game. <laughs> so guys, yeah, that, that's X-Wing. Um, it doesn't work out like it did in the film. Okay, so how'd it go? It was good. Such good fun. It really was. It's an unbelievably good, like, fun game. I got hammered, as you noticed. <laughs> it started off well for you, though. I, yeah. I, yeah. Literally turned a brick. Yeah. <laughs> when when um you lost um, all of it, Phil, you didn't really get to do anything in that game. No. Um, he got obliterated by Luke Skywalker and the B-wing. I had a, I had a strategy that could have worked out okay, but didn't. <laughs> yeah. So the idea of um, having Luke and the B-wing take out one Tie Fighter a turn and just kind of keep shooting two on one, and it nearly worked with your interceptor guy. What is his name? Terfener. 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 But I nearly worked with him, but Luke just didn't run high enough. All I could see in, in response to that though is it was quite a big block to shoot at as a fire. It was, and maybe the manoeuvrability would be useful. Maybe I could spread them out and then still get lined up with two things. Yeah. But yeah. Not it, bad for my second game, I thought. No, no, definitely not, no. I mean, that was like my fourth or fifth, so. Yeah, for sure. Um, I've kind of got the knack of how to use type fires and stuff. Sure. You need to do as few flips as you can and try and use the one inch 90 degree. That's the way I see it. Yeah. Because there's not 
anything apart from your A-Wing, there's nothing in your squad that can do uh, yeah. a one inch straight to one side, which is yeah. a really good maneuver. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, if you like the mat, the mat is the Gale Force 9. There's actually a, a wide selection of different mats you can choose from. Yeah, they I think it really cool as well. It really helps to set the, set the scene, doesn't it? Yeah. It makes the game go from being cool to being the boss. Um, Especially I really like a lot better than just black cloth. Yeah, because like that. that's what we were originally going to use. Um, thankfully, the guys at Troll Trader were lucky enough to, or they were kind enough to let, let us use that one. <laughs> lucky enough to let us use it. <laughs> let us use us. I think, let, yeah, we've got it here to use. Yeah. Um, you can purchase that one or loads of other ones on, on the Troll Trader website. Mm. Um, they got a, a really wide selection. Gale Force 9 ones are really good. They made up yeah. like a thick lino stuff, so it's really high yeah. Um Another thing worth mentioning is that you guys at home, um, can actually win um, a brand, not this one, this one's opened and used and whatever, but a brand new sealed copy of this game. Um, like like every week now, like, 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 like. <laughs> I need to stop saying like. But that, no, I need it in this sentence actually. You need to like Troll Trader's Facebook page. <laughs> you need to like, like it. If you go to Troll Trader's Facebook page, um, at the top of their Facebook page is a link um, with a competition. You just click on the link and it will take you to a page where you like the Facebook page. Um, if you like TT Combat's Facebook page as well, through that same link, you'll have more chances of winning this. It's completely free. Um, all you have to do is like it. Like, 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 like. And um, yeah, you're in with a chance of having this bad boy absolutely free sent to your door. And I'm, I'll be jealous of that person. Yeah. Hmm. Um, another thing I wanted to uh, mention actually is that I think the best thing you can do with this is actually, when you buy this game, the, the next thing you should buy is another one of these. Yeah. Because having, having two X-Wing and four TIE Fighters is actually quite useful for either side, I think. And even just having the extra dice, maybe. The extra dice will be going use, up to yeah. four dice. Yeah, there's a couple of times you got to four dice. You got the measuring. If I had my own, like, yeah. like, 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 I need to stop saying Yeah, it's split, split it with uh, a friend of yours. So you buy one, your friend buys one, and then you kind of, like, give him the Imperium and you the Rebels or whatever and you get your own sets and tokens yeah. and it's a useful way of doing it. Jay, we should do that. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Imperial guy gets more for his money because the, the X-Wing and TIE Fighters cost the same but you only get one X-Wing in there. I don't know. I mean, TIE Fighters are what, 19? Oh, you mean cost the same in price? Yeah, yeah price-wise, yeah. Right, okay. Um, yeah, I agree. Maybe. But on that note, even if you do own this game, like, it's worth liking the Facebook page mm. to try and get yourself a second one. Um, I think the man of the match. We need to. What, what is, we haven't actually discussed it. Which one was the man of the match? Man of the match. Oh, definitely uh, Turfaner. Turfaner to interceptor. Yeah, I, I was his, his ability to shoot and then barrel roll out of um, somebody so else's line of sight. He's got a really high pilot skill, so he's going to be shooting first most of the time. He's level yeah. seven, and the highest I've seen is nine, I think. Yeah. So Luke Skywalker goes first, and then Turfaner does his shooting, and then anything that else that's got him in the sights, there's a good chance they might not have him in the sights anymore. Cause he's yeah. just like, Whoop! Yeah. Out there. Everyone's streaking like, hi, are you shooting at me? I'm going to shoot back. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it worked out well. It really did. Mm. Um, we will be doing this game again because it's amazing. Um, yeah, it's superb. And there's so much more. There's the shuttle, which I did have here. Um, shuttle, Millennium Falcon. There's some Hawk one. I mean, check it out. There's so many um, other blisses. We've used a selection. There's the Y-Wing. Yeah. Um, we, ne ne we should uh, reenact a scene or something from Star Wars. That'd be sweet. Like the, Im the invasion of it's a trap. Death Star. Yeah, all that one. Yeah, we've got a Mon Calamari cruiser. Ah, uh, okay. You could get a sausage and well, stick it. Well, saying that, there is a mat that I think Gale Force do. Like, Gale Force 9 do a Death Star mat. They do a Death Star mat, so you can actually yes, play people on the do Death, do a Death Star. Star mat, yeah. So maybe we should whip that out and I'll buy 107 X-Wings and you can get 7 They didn't actually have that many. It was not no, so it was like 50 of them. Yeah, I don't think it's even that much. Really? Yeah, it wasn't. That much. Poor Rebels. Yeah, they did it though. They did? They did. What a movie. It is. And next time we'll include upgrades as well. Um, so you can actually see how those work. I did have upgrades in this, although it didn't actually uh, take into account. Anyway, guys, uh, we've already announced the the man of the match being me. You, not you. Oh, <laughs> it's Turfano. Oh, Turfano, yeah. Turf 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 um, yeah, that, that, that's it, guys. I mean, we hope you enjoyed it. We definitely did. Yeah, so it's one of my favourite tabletop games. I mean, I'm, was cool. I, I, I'm loving it. Yeah. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And check out our website at www.ttcombat.com. It's right here. 
uh, where you find loads more tabletop news, fun, loads of other stuff. We've got Tabletop Tuesday tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, next week we're going to be doing Let's Play 40k. Is that weird? 40k. We're playing. Let's 40K. play 40k, and it's going to be. We haven't decided the armies actually, so yeah. that's on the scope. Hopefully not say Space Marines, but probably Space Marines. Probably Space Marines. <laughs> yeah. We have probably an abundance space of Space Marines here, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.